How are you learner? My name is Dickens Mugalo and uh, in today's lesson we want to discuss on what happens when uh, salts are exposed to the, uh, to the atmosphere. So we need to know this, that salts behave differently when they are left exposed to the atmosphere. We are going to look at uh, three uh, categories of uh, what happens when they are exposed to the atmosphere. So, uh, we have some salts, my dear student, which when they are exposed to the atmosphere, they absorb moisture from the air and that will enable them to turn into solution. Such type of salts, which when exposed to the atmosphere, absorb moisture or water vapor from the atmosphere and turn into a solution, such type of salts are called deliquescent uh, salt. So, uh, deliquescent, deliquescent, deliquescent salt. So, we are saying deliquescent salts are salts which, uh, when exposed to the atmosphere, when e exposed to the atmosphere, when exposed to the atmosphere, they absorb uh, water vapor or moisture for that matter and turn into and turn into turn into a solution so uh, such type of salts are called deliquescent salts and the process that involves uh, absorbing moisture and turning into a solution that process we call it deliquescence. So deliquescence is coming from the word deliquescent. So deliquescence is the process in which deliquescent salts absorb moisture from the air and turn into a solution. So we are saying is a process, process in which process in which the liquescent salt the liquescent uh, salt absorb moisture absorb moisture from the air uh, and turn turn into a solution so it's a process so the liquescence is the process but the liquescent is the the salt so uh, we give an example uh, of such type of salts, we have uh, potassium, potassium hydroxide. When potassium hydroxide is exposed to the air, it will absorb moisture and turn into a solution. We also have uh, sodium, sodium hydroxide. If sodium hydroxide is exposed to the air, it will absorb moisture from the air and turn into turn into solution. Uh, the next uh, class of salts, we call them hygro, hygroscopic, hygroscopic, hygroscopic uh, salts, hygroscopic salts. So these are salts which when exposed to the atmosphere, they absorb moisture but do not form a solution. So they are salts which when exposed when exposed uh, to the atmosphere to the atmosphere when exposed to the atmosphere uh, they absorb moisture they absorb moisture or water vapor from the atmosphere but do not form solution but do not uh, do not uh, turn into uh, turn into a solution. So we are saying uh, such kind of salts are called hygroscopic salts and the process they undergo we call it hygroscopy. Hygroscopy. So from the word hygroscopic we get the word hygroscopy. So hygroscopy is the process in which hygroscopic salts when exposed to the air 
they absorb moisture but do not form a solution so process uh, in which process in which hygroscopic uh, salts uh, absorb absorb moisture absorb moisture but do not uh, form a solution so hygroscopy is the process but hygroscopic are the the salts so examples examples of uh, some of the examples of hygroscopic salts we have uh, anhydrous 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 copper 2 sulfate when anhydrous copper sulfate is exposed to the air it will absorb moisture but will not form a solution but instead it will be damp it will appear damp another example is anhydrous anhydrous uh, uh, cobalt cobalt 2 uh, chloride anhydrous cobalt 2 chloride uh, this one also when exposed to the air it will absorb moisture but will not turn into a solution the last uh, category of salts we call them efflorescent efflorescent salts so efflorescent salts are salts which when exposed to the atmosphere they lose water of crystallization and turn into powder so these ones lose water of crystallization lose water of crystallization and change uh, into into powder so when exposed to the air they lose water of crystallization and turn into powder the process that those salts undergo we call it efflorescence so efflorescence is a process efflorescence so efflorescence is the process that is undergone by efflorescent salts we have said efflorescent salts lose water of crystallization and turn into powder so the process that they undergo is what you are calling efflorescence so efflorescence is a process uh, by which a process by which uh, efflorescent salts efflorescent efflorescent salts efflorescent salts uh, lose water lose water of uh, crystallization lose water of crystallization and turn into turn into 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 powder so that process we call it uh, efflorescence uh, examples we have examples of such type of uh, salts we have uh, hydrated hydrated uh, sodium sodium carbonate uh, it contains uh, water of crystallization so the formula is uh, sodium carbonate uh, the 10 molecules so this one when exposed to the air it will lose water of crystallization and form a uh, powder another example is hydrated hydrated uh, sodium hydrated sodium uh, carbonate uh, this one also contains uh, 10 molecules of water of crystallization when exposed to the air it will lose the water of crystallization and turn into into powder so uh, I want us to finish by looking at the uses of uses of salts we are just going to mention uh, okay so our sub 
the last subtopic is on uses of salts. So we want to mention some of the uses of the uh, salts that we know. Uh, so the first one, uh, first use, we talk about sodium chloride. Sodium chloride, we use it as a food, food additive. So number one, uh, sodium chloride. Sodium chloride is used as a food additive. Food additive, that is uh, use number one. We said sodium chloride is a salt, therefore we find its use as a food, a food additive. Another use uh, of a salt is sodium hydrogen carbonate. Sodium hydrogen carbonate is used uh, used in making of baking baking uh, powder. So my dear student, uh, we are saying that sodium hydrogen carbonate, which is another example of a salt, is used in making of baking uh, powder. Another salt that has its use is calcium sulfate. Uh, calcium sulfate uh, in hospitals, if somebody has a dislocated arm, they use calcium sulfate, which is otherwise called plaster of Paris. So uh, calcium sulfate is used in uh, setting uh, of uh, fractured, fractured uh, bones. Uh, when somebody is injured, maybe the arm or the leg, so they uh, use calcium sulfate, which is also called plaster of Paris. Uh, another salt is calcium chloride. Calcium chloride uh, is used is used in uh, road uh, surfacing, uh, of course, involving cleaning of roads, especially in countries that are on the uh, poles. And then another use of a salt is uh, uh, some of the fertilizers that we use at home in planting, uh, most of them contain a mixture of salts. So one of them being uh, calcium uh, sulfate. So uh, calcium, uh, sulfate uh, is used, calcium, uh, not really calcium sulfate, sorry, but calcium nitrate, calcium nitrate, sorry, calcium nitrate uh, is used in uh, uh, preparation, preparation of uh, nitrogenous nitrogenous uh, fertilizers, nitrogenous uh, fertilizers. So my dear student, these are just some of the uses of, of salts. We have quite a number, uh, uh, you can get them. So we are saying that today we have learned about uh, the effect of exposing salts to the atmosphere and we have seen uh, salts behave Differently when exposed to the atmosphere, we have seen we have some salts which when exposed to the atmosphere, they absorb water, vapor, and turn into a solution. Such kind of salts we have said they are called deliquescent salts. Then we have those which when exposed to the atmosphere, they absorb moisture but do not form a solution. So such type of salts are called hygroscopic uh, salts. And then lastly, we have said we have some salts which when exposed to the atmosphere, they lose water of crystallization and form powder. Such type of salts are called uh, efflorescent uh, salts. And then we have just looked at uses of some salts. So I want you to try uh, the following uh, questions. Questions. Uh, try the following questions. First question, define, define the following, the following uh, terms. Uh, my dear student, 
I uh, want you to define the following terms. Uh, the first term is deliquescent, deliquescent uh, salt. Uh, second term is hygroscopic, hygroscopic uh, salt. Our third term is efflorescent, efflorescent uh, salt. I want you to try and define a deliquescent salt, hygroscopic salt, and efflorescent salt. And then secondly, a, a state, state uses of some, some salts. So uh, our second question requires you to state uses of uh, some salts. Otherwise, we have come to the end of our lesson. Once again, I want to thank you for being a good student and I wish you all the best. Thank you so much.